Number two then from the 2014 National 5 Paper 2, the calculator paper, although don't really need a calculator for this question, so it could have been paper one, if there was room for it there. What have we got? We've got three dimensional coordinates here. All it says is, looking at this shape made up of a cube sitting on top of a cuboid, and notice matches widthwise with the cuboid. It gives you the coordinates of one of the points, and it says, what are the coordinates? Just write down for two marks, that'll be one mark each. What's the coordinate of B, and what's the coordinate of C? Well, the coordinates are X along and Y back along the horizontal plane. So it's just like your normal XY diagram, only put down flat in the horizontal, and then the height goes up the way, Z's the height. So how do you get to this point? Well, it's the same as before, it's alphabetical order. You go along the X-axis, back along the y-axis, and then up in the direction of the z-axis. So if that's 8, 4, 6, that must mean you go along 8, so that side's 8. You then go back 4, so that side's 4, and then you go up 6, so that side's 6. So what's this extra little bit here? It's tempting, I suppose, to think, oh, that looks a bit half of that, so I'll call it 3, but it's not. This is the width that matches. If that's 4, that side is 4, and since that's a cube, all its sides are four, so that's also a four. And that's all you need now to get the points. So B. Remember, you write them across the way for coordinates, down the way for vectors at this level. So how do I get to B from the origin? Well, I'll have to go all, because it's at the far away corner, I'll have to go all the way along, so I'll have to go eight along, all the way back, because it's at the back, so that's four, and all the way up, so six and four is 10. And how do I get to C? Well, it's at the same height, so I suppose I could put the 10 in straight away. But how do I get to C? I've got to go along, but not all the way along. If I went all the way along and I've gone too far, because that, remember, if that's a cube, it's four all the way, all sides are four. So that must be four back, so that's only going to be four along. I only go four along, and it's at the front, so I don't actually go back at all, so that must be a zero, because it's on the front, there's no distance going back off of this front plane, and I've got to go all the way up. The six and the four, it's at the same height, it's at the top, the very top at ten. And that's it, you get one mark for that, and you get one mark for that. However, if you forget to put the brackets in, according to the Martin scheme, you lose a mark and you only get one out of two. And if you write them the other way around, because you think, oh, three dimensions, I start to do these vertical things with vectors and whatnot. If you do that, for both of those, you'll only get one out of two. You have to write them as coordinates. Then you get the two marks.